The room function not only adds room labels to the floor plan, but it also adds room information to the material reports. When we generate the material reports, we will get wall, floor, and ceiling areas, as well as the perimeter for each room we have defined in the layout. These values can then be used to calculate additional materials like paint, floor finishes, and interior trim on a room-by-room -room basis. In this tutorial, we added floor finishes and drywall ceilings to help prepare the model for marketing renderings, and those materials will be reported in the material reports. However, if you are not going to present this model in any way, then you can just use the room functions to estimate all of those materials and save all of that modeling time. Before defining any rooms, I'm going to clean up the layout by modifying the layers that are visible. I can go up to Select Layer Groups from List. Under the Layer Groups list, we're going to select Rooms. What this does is it turns off a number of layers and just keeps on certain predefined layers associated with the Rooms Layer Group. We can preview that by hitting the Preview button. I'm going to click OK and then we can go up to the Room function. As soon as we start the function, we get a list of different modes we can use for defining a room. The first one is selecting walls one by one. The second one is find by selecting a wall. This is kind of an automated way, which is useful when you have a clearly defined room area surrounded by walls. We also have a method for selecting lines. So you can add drafting lines to divide an area. We also have Find Rooms Automatically, which tries to find all the rooms in the layout at once. I'm going to go by room by room, and first we'll start using the second method, Find by Selecting a Wall. I'm going to zoom in to one of these areas where we clearly have a room defined by four walls. So I'm going to hold my cursor just to the inside of one of those walls and left click. So Vertex will hatch out that area open up the room data dialog where you can select the name of this room. I'm going to choose closet 1. We could select a different color fill for that room. I'm just going to keep the default and click OK. And then continue to the next area. This one will be laundry. This one is bathroom closet 1. and this one will be my bathroom one. The other areas in this layout aren't so clearly defined. So what we can do is add divider lines or divider walls to act as imaginary borders between the rooms. So I'm going to escape out of the room function and we'll go to the insert wall function. Under the wall libraries we can find other walls Go into the other folder and you'll see a space divider. This is a 2D only wall that can be used to divide areas into separate rooms. I'll click OK and I'm just going to draw a wall from this corner up here. Lock in vertical. I can also change the reference line. Right now it's on the center line. Let's move that to the exterior so that it's flush with the inside of that top wall. And I'm going to bring it all the way down and I'm going to snap to the finish line on the bottom wall. And I also want to make a T connection between those two walls. So to do that I'm going to hit escape. I'll select this divider wall. Right click on the end point and I can choose create T connection. Then I can select the horizontal wall that it's going to T into. I'll do the same at the bottom. Right click on the end marker, create T connection, and then I'll select this horizontal wall at the bottom. And then hit escape. We can add a couple more divider walls. I'll put one here to separate this back hallway from the kitchen. And then I'm going to add another one right through here 
to divide the dining area with the living area. So again I'm going to use the T connections just to make sure we have a good connection between the end of that divider line and the intersecting walls. And now we can go back to the room function and use the same method find by selecting wall. So I can hold my cursor close to the inside, select it, and now Vertex has a very easy time defining that room area. This will be the dining room. This will be our hallway. I'll do hall number one. This is the kitchen. Family room. And just to demonstrate, we can switch to the select walls one by one. And I will click the four walls around the living room and confirm. And now we can select the living room. And hit escape, save the project.